Don't be a boob. For more videos like this one, please subscribe to this channel. And end up losing to the Bears. But if you look at the two games that the Lions played the Packers last year, both of those games were decided on the final play of the game. And yes, you guessed it, the Lions lost because they seem to have... I know there's something about that. I know you're getting after it once again. You talked to Jimmy G. What did he tell you after that week one start? Yeah, good morning, Sam. You know, I didn't sense a lot of anxiety in Jimmy Garoppolo's voice when we were talking about what this offense is going to look like without their go-to guy, George Kittle. He said, look, of course I want my guy out on the field, but I've got so much confidence in this tight end unit. He said they're the most prepared unit on this offense. And he talked about Jordan Reed having a really good week of practice. And Sam, I covered Reed when he was in Washington with Kyle Shanahan in this offense. And when Jordan Reed is healthy, which he is, he is a dynamic pass catcher who runs routes more like a receiver than he really does a tight end. But this team, they're going to miss Kittle's energy. They're going to miss him on the sideline. I said, Jimmy, what do you expect from Kittle on game day? He said, he's going to be blowing up my phone. I'm going to get tons of text messages of him trying to pump me up. He said he's a really big gift guy, which I don't really think that surprises any of us. As for Jimmy's focus today, specifically for the quarterback, he said this is all about making quick decisions early in the game and slowing down his reads. Sam? Yeah, Dan, I mean, Cam Newton had 15 rush attempts in week one. That's the most ever by a Patriots quarterback. A lot of people seeing Bill Belichick show a second stage, his ability to adjust to the skills of a new player. What did you see in week one, Matt? Well, you're exactly right. They did adjust, but that core, the NFL, the Patriots get my award for the best coaching job week one. They adjusted to the skill set, but they didn't get away from their core bread and butter plays. That's why they're one and zero with a new quarterback and nobody else is. Yeah, let's keep talking about adjusting the skill sets because that's what Pete Carroll's doing too with this. Today, it's time for everybody's favorite segment right now, though. Time for another edition of You Got Hey, Bruce, you got the call today. Yes. I know you're fired up and ready nice to go. To here. Randy, what do you have for us? Well, Sam, hey, week two nominees, we got some for you, Bruce. Welcome right. to the show, week Appreciate two. Let's you. get this thing.